You obviously will be better if it's just a little bit more kindness and I can see it in compassionate and Clyde, yeah. All of Inverclyde has really put their, their heart and soul into this. It's to say, uh, ordinary people helping ordinary people. You know. I think what we as Compassionate Inverclyde can do is just, even if it's just to drip in a tiny wee bit of quality, a wee bit of company, a laugh, helping out. They really need it because there is really an awful lot of people that haven't got anybody. It's so sad. You've got people in their 70s and their 80s and their 90s come into hospital and it's the most companionship they probably get in a year and it's a hospital admission for illness. On a Monday, myself and two others go up one o'clock to three. We take filled boxes round the wards, finding out if anyone who lives alone is being discharged and would require help. It really is a, a lifeline. It's, it's something that it's, they don't have to bother with uh, worrying about having a pint of milk or a, a loaf of bread in the house when they're leaving the hospital. It's kindness and it's been kind into primary schools. You know, my grandson's eight and he's wanting to go and fill a box. Children are involved as well, so it's when next generation's coming up are learning a wee bit about giving and the importance of compassion, I suppose, at the end of the day. Well, I think it's been amazing for the community. In such a short space of time, it's really taken off and it's been very, very rewarding. It's not like Compassionate Inverclyde, an organisation. It's like a movement of compassion.